Hey guys, James here. We've got this old Asus laptop and uh, running Windows 8.1, and it's really uh, performing badly. So we thought we'd make a good, uh, a good little upgrade here and uh, install a solid-state drive in place of the original hard drive and put Windows 10 on it. This is about the best, cheapest upgrade that we can do for an old laptop like this. It's going to be a huge difference in speed and uh, reliable, ility and performance stuff like that. So um, on these laptops, there's no access to the uh, to the uh, hard drive. So what we're gonna have to do is actually remove the whole kind of cover and keyboard and all that stuff. And we're gonna need a tiny little screwdriver, actually a couple, a uh, tiny Phillips and a tiny flat blade uh, for prying and stuff like that. Uh, for sure, though, you will need a very tiny precision. Phillips screwdriver. So go ahead and start by removing all of the tiny little screws. There may be some screws underneath the battery, so go ahead and remove the battery and check to see if there's screws. If so, uh, like this one has two, we'll go ahead and remove those next. Okay, this next part can be a little tricky. Uh, what we need to do is, is basically pry the whole keyboard area up away from the laptop. Um, find the best place that you can there should be a corner where you can get a fingernail stuck in if you can get a fingernail stuck in uh, then use a little tiny screwdriver or something like that to kinda very very carefully pry up and once you get one section partially pried up work your way out from there and eventually it'll become easier and easier to actually pop this little uh, this little cover up here so once we get all of the sides popped up we'll carefully very carefully pull the uh, keyboard away from the laptop. Okay, before you get too crazy uh, pulling the keyboard away, we need to address these tiny ribbon cables. Um, they are a little resilient, but you need to be careful because you could break them. Um, so they actually have little tiny um, connector clasps, bracket things, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can pop them up with a little tiny screwdriver, and uh, once they're popped up, then then we can release them from the uh, from the motherboard here. So take your little tiny screwdriver, pop up the little clasp, once that's popped up go ahead and gently slide out the ribbon cable. Okay, with the hard drive exposed and the uh, keyboard and everything out of the way, we can start to uh, remove this hard drive. If there's any tape attached to it, we'll want to get rid get rid of that, get it out of the way. We need to um, get any other ribbon cables that are over the hard drive out of the way. So, you know, you just pop up the little clasp just like on the other one, slide out the ribbon cable, and move it to the side. Once that's done, we will start. Uh, removing the screws for the hard drive. Once you've removed the screws holding the hard drive carrier, slide the hard drive back away from the motherboard. Once it's disengaged from its connectors, you can uh, gently pry it out of its socket.
So here's the extra solid state drive that I had laying around. We can compare it to the uh, hard disk drive from the laptop. You can see that the uh, SATA connectors are the same. Everything's in the same orientation. All we need to do is switch the carrier from the old hard drive to the new solid state drive and proceed to reinstall it back in the laptop. These screws can be pretty tight, so if you need to, use a small pair of of pliers to hold the screwdriver to uh, break the screws loose. Now remove the hard drive from the carrier and uh, insert the, the solid state drive back into the carrier in the same orientation that the hard drive is in. Reinstall the screws. Alright, make sure you have the drive faced the right way and go ahead and gently slide it in until it firmly uh, locks into place with the, uh, the SATA connectors. Reinstall the screws. Alright, the hard drive's in. Let's just go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, any sort of tape uh, or anything that was in the way of the hard drive that you had to remove, just go ahead and put that back in its place. And then we'll deal with these, uh, these ribbon cables. Carefully slide the cable into the slot. Uh, once you've got it firmly in there, just pop the, uh, the little clasp down until it snaps into place. Okay, this part's a little tricky. We need to uh, lower the keyboard down so that the ribbon cables will reach the motherboard. And uh, so it's just really awkward. Um, just lower it down like this and kind of uh, position yourself so that you can get your hand in there. And once the cable has enough slack to uh, slide into the connector, then uh, just slide it in and we'll pop the clasp down just like we did on the other one. Alright, with the cables installed, lower the keyboard down towards the laptop. Uh, once it's firmly in place, just uh, start snapping it down around the edges until everything snapped back into place. Reinstall all the screws. Alright guys, so the laptop's back together. Uh, obviously the next step is to install Windows. Um, if you already know how to do this, that's fine. You can basically just skip to the end of the video or skip the rest of the video. Um, if you're not sure exactly how to go about installing Windows 10 on, on your new uh, hard drive or solid state drive, uh, what we can do is just go ahead and do this. This, this laptop doesn't have a DVD drive, so um, what we want to do is download Windows 10 to a flash drive. So if we just Google here, download Windows 10 flash drive. Okay, so once it's downloaded the uh, media creation tool, go ahead and open that up. Agree to Microsoft terms. Now, this is what we want to check here, create an in installation media for another PC. So click that, hit next, English, uh, Windows 10, 64-bit, uh, that's what we're looking for, and USB flash drive. So once you click on that, it'll, uh, it'll find your flash drives here if you already have it installed. Click next, and it will proceed to download the... Uh, you know the installation tool for Windows 10 so once that's done then we can move the flash drive over to uh, the laptop put it into the laptop and turn the uh, laptop on it'll 
it'll go ahead and load from uh, from the USB flash drive and proceed to install Windows 10 on the laptop. Okay, we want to click on the custom install. Uh, you click on that, it'll install the new version. It's going to show your hard drive here, which is unallocated at this point. Um, we want to format it so that it can, uh, so that Windows can use it for what it needs to do. It's going to, you know, probably partition it into several different things. So we'll click on there, new, click apply. It'll give you this little message here. Um, it's going to use some small partitions here to install some recovery files or things like that, whatever it needs to do. Uh, once it goes through that, you'll pick the biggest one, which in this case is called Drive Zero Partition 4, but you can see it's the largest partition of 118.7 gigabytes. So uh, this is the one that we want to use to uh, to install Windows on. So we've got it selected here. Uh, once you make sure you have the right one selected, go ahead and click Next. So at this point, it's uh, it's going to go ahead and do its thing. It'll ask you a few questions, but really, uh, you don't need to know anything else after this. It basically will walk you through it. So that's about it. Uh, you will notice a huge improvement going from the solid state drive, or I'm sorry, from the hard drive to the solid state drive. It's one of the best and probably cheapest upgrades that you can do for your old laptop. Uh, so hopefully this video helped. Good luck and thanks for watching.